What it do? Yo, what guys, do? what's happening? We back, we back with it, we back with it, we back with We're it. We're still pushing. We've got five episodes in the back. Yeah, forty-four, five. Yeah, we'll it's chill. getting tougher and tougher. Hey, eh? like we started off with, it's just getting tougher it's like and tougher. Like a fitness tougher. plan or a diet program. Yeah, <laughs> when you start, it's like I can oh, this do is this. Easy, I can do this. Ah, then there's pizza there, and you're like, mm. Mm. tough. <laughs> yeah, so man. Right, that's day. But we're gonna push. We're yeah, gonna yeah, push. yeah. But welcome back to another episode of yes, Creatives sir. Connect. All you right. know, where we talk about everything to do with creatives, life, and living, and, and all us. the fun stuff. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Kinsey, mm. start us off, bro. How have you been? How we'll you definitely been? start off with the tough, most tough news. Yeah. This was a great day until I looked at my WhatsApp statuses, until I hey, looked at social bro. media. We have lost a big guy. Our we, father, guys. We've lost our father, literally. We've lost Ricky Rick. Oh, my Lou, my uncle And Rick, I heard the news. I didn't believe it. I Yo, still kind of don't believe it. It's, it it's hard. It's still so surreal for me because even when I went on Twitter, like people were saying, I'm praying this is not true. And that was literally my like response as well. I'm praying this is not true. And I know this is messed up, but like um, there were some people tweeting that like it's a public publicity stance for Cotton Fest. And I was praying that it is, bro, because mm. I don't want it to be true. And I know like even if it is, it's it's fucked up to like do a stunt like that if it is, but like I'd rather have that than him actually be gone, bro. Yeah. Like I'd rather have that than your dude, Uncle yeah, Rick, bro. bro. Like bro. guys, that guy was yo, bro. He was yeah. just a genius. He was a person for the people, man. Like he really was for the people, and not just the people, the youth, guys. Like yo, I think man. Off camera, we were talking about the time. The last time we saw him we perform. saw him perform was yo yeah. bro at Rage in like twenty that performance was it twenty nineteen twenty nineteen it was oh, the December of twenty nineteen and just how he connects with the crowd Dude. and how he makes everything just so buck wild bro I uh, remember I lost my mind I was like <laughs> this is a Ricky Rick like performance yeah. I was like no way which way are we gonna go which way are we gonna go <laughs> that way. Oh, bro, it was insane, bro. Yo, it's too wild, man. Nah, bro, it's I'm gonna too... miss that guy, bro. Oh, like, yo. But for me, it was a wake up call. In what sense? There's so much we want to achieve, there's so much we want to do. We have to do it now. We have to do it now. What do you mean it was a wake up call, bro? You could go at any moment. Like, it was the fragility, if that's a word. Of life. Just how fragile your life yeah. is and how small you are in this world. But it was a wake-up call that said, Kens, yeah. you have goals. Because imagine just before Cotton Fest, bro, we Dude. were literally, like, everyone was hyping it up. He was hyping it up. You know, he even posted a um, post of which varsity are you going to? And he was like, he's going to Cotton Varsity or Fest. Like, he made a pun post about how he's enrolled at Cotton Fest. Oh, and, yes. Yeah, and now it's just like... It was literally like a few weeks ago and we've lost him, bro. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, are we still going to do Cotton Fest? Still going to find out. Because it's like... We might not even. Yeah, it's like we can't... Some people are going to be like, let's do it to honor him. Let's rock out one more time for him. Some people are like, we can't do it because... Out of respect. No, not even that. He's He's not there. Cotton Fest is Ricky Rick, bro. Oh, yeah. He's not there. Yeah. You can't what's do the point? exactly what's the point. I think it should live on, dude. Yeah, that was his legacy. It, it has to. Like the it next, like to. the person who was under him or his right yeah. hand team. I yeah. think his team should definitely keep it yeah. going. Because. Because that was something he did for the youth, bro. Yeah. And, yeah. It's literally changed. Like they say. Bro. Culture. But, but yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Yo, we're getting so deep in our thoughts. I was gonna um Dude, talk about that, man. Right now, yeah. Mental health, bro. It's a chat Mental that health. I feel. For me, it's disgusting how our our um, society in general. We can. We've had this big rara, 
Like it, it didn't start long ago This chat of mental health Because it wasn't there in the past It only started a minute. Yeah It started recently Like the chat of mental health And there's so many people Who post about it We talk about it We whatever But none of us live it None of us uh. None of us actually take time To be like Bro We know mental health is a pandemic It's a crisis on its own No one's like Oh they're gonna post Dude If you're not okay Go see a psychologist Go do whatever. Go whatever. But how many people actually follow through and live that? Mm. That's my chat. Is that, bro, it's... And we constantly say, check up on Mang Mang, guys. Check up on each other. When last did we check up on people we mm. care about? Just mentally, it'd be like, bro. And I think we can relate to this way. Um, there's sections of our lives, personally. Yeah. Where we want to speak about things and we want to vent about things, but we don't have... The people Yeah Or the platform. platform Yeah And Or you do speak about it And, and then, then niggas like, Take you lightly Like Ha ah, dog You stressed about that Or And guys Like and they compare you And bro, they make your problems seem this Like the small, small And for yeah. you It's literally everything Bro mm. Hey dog So for me Mental health Like I think I'm happy that There's conversations about it But it's so hypocritical because we haven't started living what we it's talk about. It's just the beginning and we're not doing yeah, enough. Yeah, exactly. Really it's just, it. but at least there is awareness now about it. Um, but for what are me, you doing it's like, right now? Mentally, mm. I'm one of those hypocrites, bro. I'm one of those. I think for me, um, the only thing that I think really helps uh, my mental health is just prayer and my piano, bro. Like when I'm not okay, I'll go there and just, that's my form of, um, cathartic experience of like you know relieving my emotions mm. and thoughts and whatever is that but besides those two things bro uh like i won't lie i'm, I'm part of the hypocrites but I, mm. at least i'm doing something when now what are you yeah, doing nah. yeah hey dude ever since we matriculated yeah. i created a whole routine because i think that transition was a lot yeah. for me so yeah. I can't go a day without journaling or writing something down. Ah. Obviously, if it's not paper, there's an, there's so many apps yeah. you can get on your phone. Mm. Meditation and breath work as well. I can't go a day without that. Mm. Even if it's three minutes, mm. you know, there's apps for that as well. Um, what else do I do? Spend time alone. Mm. So I'll go on a hike. I'll go for a walk up the street. And, you know, I'll speak to myself whenever yeah, I'm alone. And yeah. ask myself. I think the main question you have to ask yourself every single day is, how are you? Mm. Look in the mirror and ask yourself that question. Look at yourself in the mirror, like, for a while. And then thoughts will start to come up. Record those thoughts. Yeah. You know, and even if, you know, I've mentioned stuff where there's no one to help physically. But um, at school, you know, we had a counselor on campus that we could contact via Zoom. Um, you know, she did a few freebies. I use those resources yeah, and yeah. I try to use everything that is around me mm. that I can easily access. I, I think, think, yeah. Sorry, I just, just want to add on mm. that. I think with a lot of us, it's not that the resources aren't there. It's just that we feel like it's a cliche. When people are like, dude... There's this hotline for if you need a psychologist or someone to talk to, you can call. People don't want to try it out. They're like, it's a cliche. Call, like they post, they've post. they been posting this number or whatever. Why do people actually call? Why must I call? You know, at school, there's like mental health talks. There's CCDUs. There's, you know, psychologists on campus and whatever. People don't go there. It's like, who actually goes to a psychologist? Who actually needs one? Nah, we're all students. Why should I, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's like, bro... Those resources are there at your benefit. They cost nothing. Mm. Nothing but your time. All you need to do is go. Even if you feel like it's going to be pointless, at least go and be a Thomas and say, I've seen it for myself and I, I know it's pointless. Not a person who says it's pointless but hasn't even gone. Don't assume. Yeah, exactly. And challenge yourself. Yeah, you know? exactly. It might, I think for a lot of people, um, they think of going and they consider going. But they don't follow through. Yeah. Challenge yourself and say, let me have one conversation. Yeah. And that's exactly. what I did with our uh, school counselor. Like, mm, I don't know what to expect. You know, it's a mm. bit scary. But just challenge yourself and see. And I, and I think with the of, whole like this. psychologist chat, because first year I was um I, I was uh using the school psychologist, right? But it was towards the end of the year. And I remember my issue was that I was like, ah, oh, these sessions are whack because 
um my issue was that i was holding back like i would be like ah man i don't want to like really tell this person my problems and na 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 i was holding back and then um second year like once again i went to see a psychologist and my friend said to me dude the thing with psychology and psychologists is that you have to allow yourself to be open think of it as this is a random stranger you're going to speak to you're never going to meet ever again or bump into anywhere in your life they have no business to tell anyone your problems they have no business to judge you they literally have just met you so like because i think there's the fear of like I'm telling someone my problems. No. Fear of being judged. Yeah, being you're not exactly. You're not so you're not like just telling you're telling a random person. They could care less. And for them it's a job. They 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 get paid to hear your problems. So they're not going to ah uh, now gossip or now whatever or whatever whatever. To who? Like and say, hey the man, dude. Even if they do tell they 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 wife when they get home yo, it means nothing it was, like they don't even know who you are the wife's like oh okay you know that's it so i think people when if you are going to try out um seeing a psychologist or speaking to someone push yourself to be open as much mm. as, as as like as as open as you can be because the more open you are it's easier for for the person to help you because you might not be open but also you can't see what's hurting you because you're not open you can't like self reflect properly whereas they can see oh bro this is actually the issue do one two three change this in your life get rid of the stuff that's you know time consuming you're over committing yourself you're doing one two three you know mm. so be open bro like really just i think try that's also out. another yeah. chat we must highlight there's the certain type of people who can self-help Mm. There's those people who can like yeah self reflect self, self like do that yeah, self stuff. Yeah. I think I've been managing with that, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I've also realized there's a certain point that you can do that. Yeah, you, you know, I I would recommend for someone who's been self helping, you know, you do need a point where you need someone or yeah, know, something external, outside yeah. of you to tell you, yo, check yourself before mm. you wreck yourself. But someone else to tell you that mm. because you can also there's that danger of running yourself into a delusion. I Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I, I promise can pick you. Up when I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, fine. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Like, can you say, are you sure? Like, I'm, I'm fine. Hundred percent. And you go just home and sitting break. in the corner alone, doing nothing. <laughs> I'm fine. We are just thinking. I'm just thinking. Bro. I'm just processing all this yeah. information right now. So, it doesn't have to be a psychologist. Mm. There's many other options out there. Um, Israel and I didn't do our research. You know, we're trying to get by mm. these episodes, mm. but there are many options you know not just therapy not just psychiatry not just psychology mm. there's so many other things that if you just spend 10 minutes with yourself and just think to yourself what can i do to better my mind right now mm. yeah man yeah but that's a whole that's a whole chat bro yo it got yeah. really 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 deep mm. but hey man like shout out shout out i think um let's go on a more positive note sure we lost uncle rick but um you oh this is something i want to talk about actually uh, so many uh, it. man uh, so many people are so fake man so many people will post about uncle rick but like either you were you didn't really follow him his music whatever you're just posting because of mob you know mentality mob and it's mentality. like ah, oh, you know but you don't even so i wanted to ask bro for you what 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 have you gotten from him like how has he affected you for you to be able to like yo I've really lost this person. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, people will just post on social... Uh, like, when we lost um, Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Rest people were posting, right? Yeah. I didn't post because I don't watch... Um, what's it called? Basketball. And apparently, outside of basketball, he did, like, a lot of great stuff as well, right? Mm. But I didn't know about that stuff. So, it made no sense for me to be like, oh, I'm so sad, man. We've lost the great. We've lost the... Mm. He, he like how is he a great if i don't know anything like for me how yeah. did he you know affect me mm. so don't be a hypocrite or a mob whatever oh, a mob yeah because okay. who's it benefiting bro yeah. so i'll use the example of i won't use the example of kobe mm. because kobe was a really dope guy someone that i looked up to but not directly yeah. i was like ah oh, nba but yeah, i yeah. i personally don't follow nba like that yeah to be like yeah. kobe the goat yeah. but like i recognize and i see the great stuff he's done yeah, yeah and yeah. i'm like wow so i'll use the example of someone like mac miller yeah, yeah when yeah. he passed away that really affected me because yeah. i really listened to his music yeah. i listened to his album it's go o d a m 
Yeah, like yeah, almost yeah, yeah, every yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I had a stage where I was just listening to his album. Mm. So when he passed, I was like, what yeah. is going on? Ricky Rick, I can apply the same knowledge, mm. you know, because I'm really into music, really into production. Mm. Ricky Rick for his music, for someone to tap into different genres and to be comfortable in those different genres was so awesome. Mm. For someone to create an event where everyone really wants to go to yeah. really affected me because I, you know, want to be in the event space and create events where people really want to go to as well. For someone to take different art forms, you know, mm. the music, the fashion, and just tap into all these different genres and to create even his own podcast at some mm. point, his lab lives, his you know, sessions where musicians would come to just do all these different yeah. creative things and even to create the clothing and to just all these things and make it make sense. You know, I think mm. that's my mission, my mission in life also. Create all these little crazy things, but make it make sense for who mm. I am. And I think the way he executed that and the way he influenced everybody for that and the kids that he put on and the music that he influenced us with was just like yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, like yeah. his, I think more than anything, I I I admire his execution. Yeah, and his yeah, just personality yeah. and his finesse and how he just made that work yeah. for this generation and this time. Nah, I get you. Gone too soon, man. You're gone bro. too soon. I think for me, there were a lot of things I looked up to about him. Like, um, I loved his music, but I didn't follow like him religiously. Like, I followed the hits. Let me not lie. Mm. Um, and then, but like, but that's okay because yeah, there was a lot of hits, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, but yeah. besides that, it was just, bro, the type of person he was. Like, I never knew him personally, but just how, like, on his lives, on his social media, just how he would like treat people, treat his kids, his family. He was like so family oriented, always posting with his kids, always, mm. even if they're not his kids. Like kids that he's either working with or trying to, you know, show like um a door or whatever in the entertainment industry, they became his kids as well. So mm. I love that he was an uncle and father to everyone. Like that's something I looked up to was that yo, bro, it's so rare to find people like this in the entertainment industry. And if I one day get into the inter entertainment, I'd want to I follow in his footsteps. For my, yes, for my exa people. exactly. Yes. Um and then besides that, also his business mindset, bro. Like, he had a dope way of mixing business and arts. Like, similar with Casper. Casper has a dope way of mixing business and entertainment. He had a dope way of mixing business with um, arts, bro. Like, you said the whole cotton fest thing, bro. And the whole, like, fashion. Like, he was always doing things. Like, he, he you know when they say you never grow old? He was that person for me. He never grew old, bro. Like he was he was always in tune with his younger self. Like always um I remember when he wore that weird like color blocking thing. Remember oh, when yeah. we all were like yeah. bro what is going and on? exactly <laughs> and that's my chat is that he was always like, Bro, I'm just gonna live, do whatever I wanna do. If people think I'm crazy, I'm crazy as long as I'm having fun. And that's that's one thing I think that's I really such like, an important philosophy. Yeah, it's like forward. bro. He he was in tune with his like inner childhood and he was ah, in tune in with child, himself. Yeah. yeah. Bro, and it was just like, man, I really aspire to be like that, to be that person. Yeah. And besides that, I think one thing we can all take is that we need to have that Ubuntu, the Ubuntu he had with you young people with youth and creating opportunities for them and feeding them and fending and fighting for them. We need to have that not just with young people, but with each other. Everyone. And I think that's one thing I I want to, you know, follow in his footsteps. That wh whichever industry I'm in, I should always try to have that Ubuntu, you know, help others however I can type of thing. But yeah, man, I think you'll, he, you'll, you'll be missed, bro. Like, I, I'm going to miss just scrolling through Instagram and seeing like a crazy post from him or... <laughs> I think um, I think some of the crazy posts I can already think of was when I don't know he'd just be chilling. I like um, I think during lockdown he'd do like cooking stuff. Yeah, and he'd make chicken. I'm like guys, bro, just put the paprika. Bro. And put for the, me, it's yeah. like even if I didn't see from his thing, he, I'd see through people that know mm. him. Abu Larai. Yeah, like I'd see through their statuses that oh okay she's chilling with Uncle Ricky. I cool okay this is what they're up to. Uncle Vinny, I'd see through him. And I'm just like, now it's just going to feel so empty, bro. Like, yeah, dude. Yo. Yeah, yeah, nah. 
Yeah, man. Ah. Let's end this episode before I cry. Yeah, I know. I think it's <laughs> gotten way too deep, man. We have to like, end this episode. Shout but, out yeah, to we him. We have to mention him. He was a great such a creative, mm. such an inspiration to creatives connect. Yeah, even. yeah. Um, you will be missed. Yeah, man. Just respect. Share in the comments your favorite memory or favorite mm. thing about Rick, man. And may so rest in peace, man. Like. Oh, Gosh, man. He left us with a lot that I But yo that. Yeah. We never die We multiply Yeah That's what yeah. he is Oh one thing I wanted to talk about Is um The tweet That he posted Um, He po- apparently posted a, a Lyrics from his song Home mm. Um, It said something about um I'll return I also remember reading it But I don't know it Word for word Yeah Something about I'll, I'll, I'll return and um let me look for it while you yeah it yeah well. yeah man i found that so yo that was so heartbreaking bro like yo that that really broke me yo i won't even lie man man even looking at the statuses now hey, i'm trying to look for that tweet um yeah i think that song uh in home, yeah. yeah. I forgot who posted it though. Someone posted it in my yeah. contact list, but I don't remember who. Eh, oh yeah. yes, it was our boy, uh Kamu posted it. Let me look for Kamu. Yeah. I'll return a stronger man. This land is still my home. Bro, that just mm. that just yo like when I read that alone, I was shattered, bro. I was like, no way. Oh, Can we end this episode, bro? I can't. <laughs> hey, bro. I can't. Hey, bro. I can't. But yeah, just yeah. to end the episode, guys, check on each other. Yeah, check on your man. mental health. Please love, love what you preach. Like, mental health is really, really, like, important, bro. Mm. And, hey, man, this life thing is short, man. So, live it. Definitely, and uh, I'd like to say that whatever art you want to pursue, pursue it unapologetically. Yeah. This is our Creatives Connect unapologetically. Yeah. You, you live your truth. Yeah, live yeah, your truth. Find bro. your truth and then live, live it. Yeah. Live it, guys. But hey, man, we're out. Another episode of Creatives Connect. Thank you for joining us. If you're new, you know what to do. Subscribe. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Let's go mourn. Let's go check ourselves as well. Um, Shout and out. I think just take some time to process what's going on, bro. Yeah, man. No peace signs today. Yeah, just... no peace signs, bro. We just gotta... <laughs> <Add> together. <laughs> <laughs>